Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode with Handyman Dan. On today's episode we are doing an oil change on the coaster. So follow along, hopefully you learn some tricks and it will give you the confidence to do it yourself if you want to. So pretty much all you'll need for this is some spanners, an oil catch pan. I've just jacked the bus up a little bit just to make access a little bit easier and we're on slightly uneven ground so it should level it out and make it all sweet. You also need a rag and then and a bottle of filter wrench to make it a lot easier. So you pretty much just get your oil catch, the oil catch pan underneath the sump. This will be a 14, put a 14 mil spanner on there, loosen that, and you should just be able to undo it finger tight. There will be a um, press washer on there, which I'll just try and get off, there we go, and so unspin that, feel it until you've got the last thread, then you should just be able to pull it to the side, and we'll let that drain in, and with your rag, you'll just clean up. That. Okay, I'm just going to swap out these catch cans, just because my old one broke, so I'm just using these ones at the farm that we're working at. Just because the one hz sump is about nine, nine and a half liters. Now while that's draining, you can grab a 12 mil spanner. So it's basically this metal plate here. So that's just got four bolts on it. One here. Okay, now we've got that free. Just tuck it out of the way. This is slowed down to a pretty slow drip. So we'll put the uh, sump plug back in. Just like so. So it's like to go kind of fairly firm and then just give it one little, like that, and then that'll, that's that. You can give it another clean up with the rag. So we can slide the oil catch pan. So now I like to slide it somewhere about here because the oil filter is just up pretty much right above that. Okay, so we've got the engine cover open here, oil fill that black down there, black cylinder just there, that is the oil filter. So that right there. So you can see I've just drawn the straight line. So yeah, that's the oil filter. So you've got the oil filter wrench, just sliding that over the top of the oil filter. And then you just try and tighten that up. So yeah, we've got the oil filter wrench on. And basically you just push. And then we'll just grab it and loosen. Once it's Loosen, you can pull that out of the way. Pretty much reach in and spin it off by hand. And then the aim is to try and drop that oil into that catch can. We'll try and roll the filter up. Just like that. Sit it on something in the chassis. So I like to rest it there. As you can see, it's just sitting on top of what I think is a starter motor. And then what we can do is we can slide the oil can, out of the oil catch pan out of the way. You can see there, that's the filter housing. You can see some oil running into the um, tray. Now what I've done is I've just stuck the rag on top of that oil filter housing, just so I can pull everything out. As you can see there, I took everything out of the way, 
took the old oil filter out of the way and put the new one in a position that I can get to it. So now pretty much what we'll do is we'll take the rag, rag off of the oil filter housing. The good thing about Toyota is they pre-grease their oil filters. And all we'll do is we'll get a little bit of the oil off the filter housing and just running it on that o-ring just like so. So we just put a little bit of oil on there and now we can put it in. So pretty much now you want to do so you just sit the oil filter back on and you just get it started by hand, screw it down pretty just pretty much just as firm as you can get it by hand. It's a very awkward angle so you can't really get a whole heap on it, which is a good thing. But yeah, pretty much just like that. Just give it all a bit of a cleanup. Now we can put a drip pan, splash guard, whatever it is back on to the snug alrighty so now for the fun part filling her up with oil so take off the cap grab your funnel and now chuck about nine liters in this is just what I run Golf Western Top Dog Mineral, um, just because I'm doing it every 5,000, and yeah, this is a good oil, would have been similar to what was running in it originally, but yeah, because we're doing it every 5,000, go with cheaper oil instead of a synthetic, just do it a little bit more frequent, just to help the old girl keep chugging along. Just put a rag down, just in case the aim's no good. So we're pretty much putting this hole in, besides about a litre. Just feel how much is in there. Oh yeah, I reckon let's go a touch more. Yep. Alright, we'll leave it at about that. Perfect, didn't spill any. Alrighty, so that's all that done. Got the cap back on, oil filters on, and we put the sun plug back in, put that catch tray that sits underneath the splash tray. We've put all that back on, cleaned up, didn't spill any oil, so don't need to clean that up. Then we'll turn the bus on, run it for a bit. And then once we've flushed through the oil through the oil filter, then we'll let it sit overnight. And then we can check it out again in the morning just to see if we need to top up a little bit of oil into the engine. But there's about a litre in there in the container, so it should be pretty sweet. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit low, we can always just chuck a little bit more in. It's better to have a little bit less and you can top it up than have too much. So. This empty, you know, just put the rest of it into this tub. Okay, so, moment of truth. Perfect, and the oil light should go out in a couple of seconds. Perfect, oil pressure's built. Filter for the oil has now been filled. So yeah, that was pretty perfect. Um, the oil filter filled pretty much straight away it got good oil pressure pretty much straight away if you found the video helpful please uh, like and subscribe as i've got more videos coming and yeah i hope it gives you the confidence to do your own oil change in your 1hz whether it be a coaster troopy whatever so yeah i'll catch you in the next one